Everybody knows the price. Nobody knows the value. I was thinking of that. I was at the thrift shop back in the summertime. And uh, I bought a screwdriver. A very nice screwdriver. An old screwdriver. A screwdriver with a, one of those transparent yellow handles. Remind me of my childhood. My dad had a lot of tools like that when I was growing up. Man, when you need a screwdriver <laughs> and you're going crazy searching for that damn screwdriver and you can't find it, you do anything to just get that whatever mission that you had accomplished. Sorry, family, I dropped the phone. I'm trying to connect it to this uh, phone holder. It's having a problem. So yeah, you need a screwdriver. It's priceless, right? I paid 67 cents for that screwdriver. High quality screwdriver. Probably craftsman or something, right? When you go to a thrift shop, you realize we work so hard for the things we buy in this country. We pay so much for our rents, for our mortgages. And at the end of the day, the reality is... Oh! Jada Barber! I heard, I heard, I heard chili! I heard chili! I'm going through. What's up, dude? I was just doing a video. Oh, the video is not alive. Oh, but the video is on. Everybody knows the price. Nobody knows the value. Okay. So gotcha. when I went to the thrift shop, I bought a beautiful screwdriver, a flathead and a Phillips with one of those transparent yellow handles that used to get back in the days. Okay. It was like 60 something cents. And I said, this is phenomenal because the reality is when you need a screwdriver and you want to finish that project, you're going crazy looking for one, right? Absolutely. But I saw something. I want to get your feelings on this, right? I saw something on TV yesterday. One of my favorite shows is Porn Stars. So this guy, his great grandfather, not porn, right? Yeah, all right, I not porn. E A W N. Yes, I got that. Yes. I got that. So this guy, his great grandfather, was in the Civil War, and he left him a diary. He was a soldier. Okay. And this guy went to sell the diary, and I thought. How shameful. The only thing you have from your great grandfather is a Civil War diary, and you're looking to get money for it. Oh, he started cashing yeah. in on it instead of keeping it for posterity. The reality is, leaving our children things is one of the most beautiful oh, yeah. things. Yeah. Now, me, I buy precious metal, used plates, forks, knives, silver, and I bid on these things and I make offers, and I, I make ridiculously low offers. You know why? Because the person who's selling it got this from their grandmother, got this from their grandfather. And re most of the time, they have no respect or understanding of what family heritage means. So it's, it's insulting, you know? And then you look at people like us. I'm going to make an assumption here. Okay. We come from nothing. Right. We have nothing. Our right. forefathers left us nothing. Right. But we want to leave everything for our children's yeah, children. Absolutely. So Absolutely. the saying, when you come from hard times, you create strong men. And you come from good times, you create weak men. And no disrespect to the guy selling the diary. He might be in financial need. But some things are sacred. Yeah. Some things are, are beautiful. Your, your great-grandfather was a patriot. He fought. Maybe some of you guys out there have seen the episode of Porn Stars. I thought it was ridiculous that this guy would even offer it. He did say he was going to donate it to a museum. That's a lot better of a move. But Brother Jay, he came in for my, my chili. I made a homemade chili, and I made a plate for Jay, because Jay is my people. Jay is an all-star. He said, he said, go for the chili. I can't bring it for the chili. Jay, this chili's for you, brother. Oh, my God. Enjoy, man. It's, it's hot now. So oh. if you want a spoon, you can grab yeah, it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it out see, see the cabeta on the left? On the top? Yeah, that's top the one. Here. Top left, right there. Oh, got it. So, guys, listen. Everybody knows the price. Nobody knows the value. Let me just say one more quick thing. At nighttime, my shop closes at 7. Clients always want to come in and, and, and come after hours. They want to inconvenience me. My value after 7 o'clock is incredibly higher. That's my time with my beautiful baby girl. That's my time with my wife. That's my time with my friends. That's my time for fitness at the gym. So there's a premium to that. For me, the premium is about $20. You want to come and inconvenience me? It's an extra 20 on top. If you don't like that, I'm here 45 hours a week. If you can't make it, I can't help you. I love you to death. I'll do it for you once or twice. No premium attached. But if it becomes a regular basis, it has to be 
at that point, we need to make some sort of compensation because the value of my time after seven, it just greatly increases. Just like a lot of the people who are non-barbers who want to get paid um, a night differential. I heard that term yesterday because the guys were talking about that term or holiday pay and things of that nature. But guys, pay attention to value and price. Let me give you one more example. I know you guys got the point. The TPOB ghost goes on sale for $23. I'm always hitting them up. We have a barber chat with all the brothers that are involved in the barber shop. And when it comes up for $23, I can't help but buy one or two. I don't need them. But I do know with inflation going up and with the country in a, in a nosedive, at some point, barber equipment is gonna be very expensive. So I take advantage of the sales and I make sure that I buy these things now while they're affordable and I have them in, in abundance because I have to provide for my family till the day that God takes me home. So I wanna make sure I have everything. So the value to me is way exceeds $23 because I can make money for my family. You know what I mean? So guys, we wish you guys the best in 2024. Sure. He, oh like, my God. he likes the chili, oh, homemade. Man, I like it, I love it. Real quick, oh, organic man. black beans, or organic kidney beans, um, uh, Himalayan sea salt, um, organic beef also just came back. Um, tomato paste, uh, that liquid smoke. You can't forget the liquid smoke. You know what? I got to drop a whole video on my chili. Guys, may God bless you guys. Remember the lesson in the glass bottle. Your boy, I'm out. Making chili for a few years now. I always love getting people's reaction. Also, can whack or official? Official. Now, this is good because it tastes really organic and natural. And it was. So, so when I eat it, I don't taste none of that fake preservative bullshit. Okay. It's smooth, and I enjoy eating it because it feels like I'm eating natural herbs with the meat. I love that, man. I love that. I'm glad you that you like it, bro. Yeah. So. When I make a pot of this, I make it massive because there's so many ingredients and it takes so long, you gotta make it worth it. But anyway, guys, um, you missed the beginning of the conversation. We were talking about um, everybody knows the price, but nobody knows the value. And that applies to so many things and Jay walked in on it. And uh, the reality is that could even apply to friends in many ways, in many ways, you know? You might have a friend that's incredibly valuable to you. But some pe sometimes people don't recognize that. They see the price that it costs to maintain the friendship and they don't look at the value of the person. Some people's value far exceeds all the trouble they bring you. Pick your friends wisely and appreciate the ones that matter the most. I think I'm rambling at this point. I love you guys, I'm out.